Hey, what's going on guys? Crow Sama here. And today we're taking a look at the LBX Special Mode Set Limited Clear Version. This is going to be featuring the Perseus, the Elysion, and Minerva, which are all from the Dombal Senki W Series. They're looking really good, and I am pretty hyped to get this done. But other than that, if you want to just skip all the way through the build and get straight to the review, you can go and press on 8 minutes and 16 seconds. But I hope you do enjoy it. And let me know in the comment section below if you want to see this style of review even more or if you want to see some changes. But hope you enjoy.
And here are all three of them built and finished. Man, they look super good together. I love the color scheme, the clear colors. I think it just looks super solid and all three of them together, it, it's a perfect match, honestly. So starting off with the Minerva, this is a really cool LBX. I love the agile look, I love the slim legs. This thing is not gonna be able to stand on its own, that's why it's gonna come with a stand, so make the best use of it. But I love the claws, the you know, close range attack, I think is one of my favorite attributes of any type of mecha anything, like whether it's Metabots, whether it's this, Zoids, Gundam, it doesn't matter, I love the close range aesthetics. Uh, but it is going to look really solid and on the backpack, uh, well not backpack, but the uh, I guess lower butt, this is going to be more of a uh, thrusters, you know, if, if I do remember from the anime, uh, but these should be acting as uh, thrusters of, of some sort. Now really the only stickers you're going to be getting is the ones for the eyes. You're going to have one that's going to, well two is going to be for the core on the inside. And then another one that's a, a silver that's right here behind that yellow. So it gives it a little bit more of a reflective look. When talking articulation, this is going to have a fairly decent range of movement, but once again, a lot of the range of movement needs to be dependent on having a stand uh, because it won't work if it's standing up. Uh, but the ball jointed head is going to have a pretty good range of movement. You're gonna have a ball jointed shoulder and the uh, arm is gonna be able to come up fairly well. A little bit less than a 90 degree bend for the elbow. Ball joint for the wrist. The claw can rotate in and out on the hands. Rotation at the waist. Now the worst point of articulation for most LBX kits is gonna be right here for the waist because these are just going to be on the ball and socket joints. And yeah, it's, it's okay for the most part, but you're really not gonna get the large, wide range of movement. And lastly, you are gonna have a 90 degree bend at the knee. And when you put her on a stand diagonally, she is going to look really cool because she's gonna have that little like dashing wave pose. And that's something I've always loved with these you know, very slim designs for the LBXs. So if you are gonna do it, I mean, this is probably gonna be one of the better poses that you can get her into, uh, unless you do some heavy modification or you're just a beast at posing. But yeah, nonetheless, this is going to be a very solid addition to your shelf. And next we're going to have my main man, Perseus, who is just, man, that is a good blue. I love the light in contrast with the light blue. The milky white clear, I'm not a big fan of, but I still, I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, I probably would have preferred it just to be straight clear, but the milky white isn't horrible. Just, I don't think it's a great looking clear color. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a very solid looking clear suit. Now as you've seen during the build process, mine is actually defective. This whole piece for the backpack is actually m just mismolded or something. Like, it's not that it's broken because it's not like cracked or anything. This looks like it's straight up melted or you know, whatever they were actually forming it on the runner. Um, something just happened where the, I guess the liquid plastic didn't actually make it to the spot. Not too sure, but yeah, it's a defective one. Now what I really like about this LBX is the dual blades. I am such a sucker for dual blades. Anytime I see an MS or LBX or anything that has dual blades, I'm like, ugh, I'm gushing. Also, you're gonna have the little paper cape on the bottom side, and I think that's a I think that's pretty cool looking aesthetic. I, I like that, you know, instead of just always having it on the, uh, the back portion or the upper uh, back, having it at the lower half of the waist is pretty cool. And then you're also gonna have I don't know what these were in the show. I never seen these, you know, open up or being used, uh, but they are pretty cool looking aesthetics nonetheless. Now, when it comes to stickers, you are going to have the ones for the chest as well as the ones for the eyes, uh, and then the core on the inside. But yeah, it looks good. I like the the stickers. You can easily paint those if you want, though. For articulation, you are going to have the double ball joint right here for the neck, ball joint for the shoulder. The shoulder piece actually clips on and can move up and down. These shoulder pieces are going to be on ball joints as well. You have a rotation right here at the bicep. And a little bit less than a 90 degree bend for the elbow. Ball joint for the hand. Rotation at the waist. Side skirt is going to be on a ball joint. Ball and socket for the hips. Can pull off a 90 degree knee bend. And lastly, ball joint and socket for the foot. In summary, this LBX is really good. I love the articulation on this because most LBXs are going to have very limited range. Uh, much like you've seen with the Minerva. This is going to have a ball and socket joint for the hip, 
but it's still going to be able to push this leg all the way forward and have a really good leg spread. It can hold itself up extremely well. It aesthetically, it looks amazing. Has you know really cool looking swords. So. Yeah, this is like one of the perfect standard LBX kits I've ever you know played with and ever built. So really happy about this one. And last but not least, we have the Elysion. What a beautiful, beautiful design. Something that I'm super happy that it's not a downgrade from the Odin. Even though I think the Odin is probably the pinnacle of Bond's um, you know, LBX kits, this is something that's still really cool. This is this probably should have been the successor to the Achilles and then the Odin be the one for the uh, the W series. I think that would have been a better trade-off, but hey, it is what it is. This is still a beautiful looking LBX. Now for stickers, you are gonna have the ones for the eyes as well as the center chest. The design all the way from the head down to the toes is just something I love to look at. I love the simplicity, but it also has a bit of complexity to the design. The shield is really cool as well. It's you know, very small, it kind of covers just the main parts of the body. Doesn't need to be like overly big, it's, it's simple. And then the staff itself is going to be really awesome to look at. For the articulation, you are gonna have the ball jointed neck, ball and socket shoulders, shoulder armor can move up and down, 90 degree bend for the elbow, ball joint socket for the hand, waist swivel, side skirt's gonna be in a ball and socket, ball and socket for the hips, roughly 90 degree bend for the knee, and lastly is going to be a ball joint and socket for the ankle. Now you are going to have the paper for the cape, so it is what it is, but you can easily just make your own if you want. So in conclusion, this is going to be an LBX I want to try and get the standard version of. I mean, for all three of them, that's my goal. I do have the standard Minerva, so I'm going to be working on the Perseus and the Elysion as soon as I can. But yeah, they're pretty pricey, um, but... They should be getting a re-release sometime in the near future because we're already starting to work on the W re-releases. And that's all I ask for is just getting these out as soon as they can because I want this uh, LBX hype train to continue on going because I've been seeing more and more people building them, more and more people getting into the franchise. And that's all I ask for. So Bandai, if you ever watch any of these videos, please let it be known that we do want more LBX kits and please deliver and hey, maybe actually re-release some of these exclusives and P Bandai ones as well. Well, that's it for me guys. So sorry it took so long to get this video out there. Have been pretty sick and my voice is uh, just starting to really recover. But hey, got this video out in a decently timely manner about eight days after the LBX month has concluded. But hey, nonetheless, it's still really good to see these kits out and about. If you do want to pick up this exclusive set, it's going to be really hard, but you could try Mandarake if you can. But if you do want to just, you know, try and get some LBX kits in general, please go to NewTypeHQ.com. You can use that promo code Krosama, so that way you can get 10% off your purchase. And just keep on the watch out over at uh, BandaiHobby.net, I believe. Uh, so that way you can see when the re-releases re are going to be hitting those shelves. But that's it for me. I'll be seeing you guys on the next review. Bye-bye.